of the things he says are so Theo. He's on straight on tour right now. This morning he was, yeah, man, you got a koala coming to the hotel. And I went, oh, shit, man, those things have uh, chlamydia, so make sure you wash your hands. And he goes, shit, I have some things, too. He better wash his hands. <laughs> <laughs> my question then do you think it's going to get to a point right where if we start losing jobs right and there's less jobs and more people are on like only fans right mm -hmm. that you're basically going to have chicks out there like literally people women holding each other at gunpoint like you know subscribe to my pussy stuff like that uh, like <laughs> you know what i'm saying like I don't know what you're saying. You know, help, Jamie. <laughs> Jamie, can you pull up some help? <laughs> pull up some help. I need some help, man. <laughs> Sometimes I would do so much cocaine, my freaking eyes would dry out. Ooh, and uh, look at you grinding. You're thinking about it, grinding. Oh, ah, dude, yeah. Fucking. Ah. I remember I had, I had to lick my hands and then rub it into my eyes. Whoa. So that I could even blink well. I always get dehydrated, boy. That's deep. You go deep, huh? Oh, dude. But I, you're that dude. You go deep with whatever the fuck you're doing. I Let's like go. to get right on the fucking. I like to be a peeping tom if I can. <laughs> I'll watch your whole family eat dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I used to love that shit. On boy. coke, huh? <laughs> on coke. On anything, boy. I fucking love to watch a family eat from the distance. Say this, something like this happens, right? You're like, you're leaving work, okay? Okay. And. Things got compromised out in the world. You were at work. You were doing a podcast episode or something. And, like, things just kind of hit that level where it's like the purge, right? You have 90 minutes to kind of get before that you, you're going to start to feel some pressure. What do you do? No. I guess load up some magazines. Oh, I'm fucked. But I'm wondering what do you do, you know? That's I'm, what I would do. I'd probably load up some magazines. Okay. Into yeah. what? Into guns. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. All right, I see. I don't know if you fucking... No, at the I, periodical I don't mean, section. I don't mean magazines like Sports <laughs> Illustrated. Oh my uh, dang, this I mean, guy's like crazy. an AR. <laughs> this guy's taking information <laughs> with him into a bunker. <laughs> I'm reading Time Magazine. <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm like, I just see Joe with as many copies of Field and Stream as you can fucking live. Right, so he's fucking crazy. And uh, he, apparently he bit a hooker. Like, that's like his big he falling did. off. <laughs> Right? But here's what happened. A hooker bit onto him. So how do you get a hooker off of you? You bite her or push. You can't. There's not like a hooker removal thing, you know, like there's to get snow off your car. Right. <laughs> you know? So he bit her back. I'm guessing he might have. Or he, you know, he's excessive. But you got to get a hooker off you. Yeah. Have you ever had that problem? I have not. I've had some maybe issues with some, you know, aggressive escorts, I'd call them. <laughs> uh, but I wouldn't say hookers, really. <laughs> I think if you have a diploma, you're not a hooker. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? <laughs> I don't know. I'm drinking like monster energy drinks sometimes, which are like piss magnets. They're delicious, but they make you want to pee. Make you want to beat your wife, too, dude. I've seen a <laughs> lot of dudes drinking monster that you know they're going home to punch. <laughs> oh, I saw an owl get hit by a tow truck. Uh, in Indianapolis a couple of weeks ago, I was driving along a road and they had an owl come up from the wood line, a beautiful owl, you know, just the Lord's bird. We had a dude try to fast himself out of being gay, I remember one time. He How tried, many days? I think he did almost 40 days or 20 something <laughs> days. Isn't that crazy? How much weight did he lose? He lost it. Oh, he was ribs and dick by the end of it, <laughs> you know? <laughs> He goes, it broke my heart because the first dude I saw with a Diet Coke, I wanted to fucking blow him. And I was like, oh, oh that's man, weird. what a letdown. You ever been to a black church? Oh, yeah. Dude, those get you fired up. Oh, dude, black church is definitely, yeah, you, you like. You feel the Lord. Oh, you feel the Lord. And somebody will splash fucking hot grease on your back <laughs> in the middle of it. Like, you don't even know what's going on. Like, you don't know if somebody just, like, ripped open, like, a lunch plate real fast. Yeah, yeah, or if yeah, some yeah. lady just, like, whipped her hair. Yeah, yeah, like, you'll yeah. see a black lady. She'll have a fucking plant. She'll be watering a plant yeah. in her hair during right. the fucking sermon, dude. People are dressed Talking up. Talking to a grape or something. Oh, everybody smells good, dude. Yeah. You, the Lord will pass through the room. Man, I think about that kind of stuff. Like, if a plane crashed, I already know I'm planned ahead, dude. I'd eat a Vietnamese guy. Why? Um, because that's easy. It's a starter move. If you attack somebody bigger, <laughs> if you eat somebody bigger in front of other people, it's going to alarm people. But you, 
You got to eat a small person, so stature is important. I think if you gum down a Viet, people aren't going to be that upset at you. Well, the, the you know? Vietnamese people are going to be super upset. What are you talking about? No, Somebody's okay. dad. Yeah, they're sacrifi- They're more <laughs> understanding of things, dude. Is this a character you're playing? No. <laughs> but if you eat a black dude, you eat a black lady and her family's there, they're going to be pissed. So you think a Vietnamese person will let you slide? I think that they'd be much more forgiving over a couple of day period. Mm, I think uh, like well, their relatives. You don't think so, honestly? Well, but what is interesting is like Vietnam is one of the few places where um, Americans can go back to Vietnam and they don't seem to hold any grudge at all. Exhibit A. <laughs> <laughs> the first funeral I ever went to, man, was oh. a black guy, and what, it was how, how did he die? He um died he was the biggest guy in our town his name was ricardo he was like a, a man child it was like as if you saw like a nine-year-old child but he was like i mean he's probably six four damn he was the biggest he was the biggest kid in our town he was uh, uh you never seen nothing like it they didn't yeah. have it you know when you saw he should have just been the mayor oh he was i mean he definitely he could fucking keep the sun off of you <laughs> I'm going to get my stuff first. <laughs> <laughs> what would you bring? If I said, hey, dude, you can go in the Matrix, but uh, you can bring three things. I'd have to bring a picture of my family, and then I'd have to bring probably, I'd bring probably some water. <laughs> <laughs> I would. <laughs> you think you'd need water in the Matrix? I'm not going to be the guy without it in there. <laughs> one's in the chamber. The old one's in the chamber. Oh, yeah. What is it? Aim at that oak over there, that, and, just, and you'll see that red dot. And just shoot? No, no, don't shoot. Don't shoot. No. no don't, don't shoot. shoot. Don't keep your cue fang off the trigger. Okay. All right, but see what I'm saying? You can see, you can see the red dot. The red dot on his hand if you can get him in. All right. All right. And who's the other team? It's just us. Oh. Just us. No, I told it. Respect to the Dutch, but... Some of the greatest kickboxers of all time. Came really? Out of that one spot. Yeah. Well, they're aerodynamic too. You ever seen a Dutch person? They're big. Well, and also they're mm-hmm. extremely. If you look at their faces, they're extremely aerodynamic. You think they they travel through space better? Is that what you're saying? I think if you taped like one of the front of a plane, it wouldn't. <laughs> you know, it wouldn't be that hard on him. Somebody did that. They put their picture on Facebook of the kid, and he had second grade two times. And I was like, "Fuck yeah, dude!" <laughs> <laughs> you can do it, Robert. They wrote it at the bottom, and we know he can't do it, dude. But he's gonna try. Are- but do you think? Mm-hmm. Ever, that mother nature has a plan a bigger plan where in the end it all ends up that we're like trans like ben simmons is like all mm. like crossed you Who's know what ben I'm simmons <laughs> ben simmons is like a um mick he's a black and he, i think he's black and white right he played at lsu he's a great basketball player what does but, it have to do with his sexuality? But he's beige. You know what I'm saying? He's beige. Know. Does it? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> does it end? Because we don't. Here we go. Here's the craziest part: is though some black women, it seemed like they fuck back, dog. That's the thing. I don't know. if well, I That's can what I'm saying. It, yeah. It's kind of intimidating. Yeah. It's like I don't know if I can handle it, bro. You go- oh, I never told you the end of that. <laughs> oh, sorry. So no, I took that bag of mushrooms to that party, right? And a bunch of people ate them who'd never had them before. Uh oh. And then we played a game of hide and go seek, right? I was like, Oh no, oh, dude. <laughs> he had hide in another dimension. <laughs> I was like, I'll count. You guys go hide, right? Oh no. And I never went to fucking look for them. <laughs> <laughs> that was the end of that, bro. I never seen one dude. This boy Timothy, I never seen that dude again. Um, I wish I could drink beer, man. I fucking can't buy drink? cocaine. From Louisiana. Uh-uh. I know, but I buy cocaine, man. I'm a dr- I'm addicted to drugs and alcohol. So if I have a half a beer, dude, I will have seven bottles of cocaine. Yeah. So. <laughs> Yeah, one time this guy I knew was having sex with this girl and like the rest of us were just just kind of being lonely outside of his room. <laughs> and um, we went on the balcony. To, we went on the balcony. I just picture you. How many guys are outside of the room being lonely? Three guys. <laughs> so one guy's in there getting his freak on. Everybody else is outside. Hmm. Deal with an abusive husband back in the day um, before women had any other way of dealing with it. Well, you'd get your brothers and they'd just, you know, beat him to death. And then they, you know, you know, you'd hide him.